if you're trying to understand the brain, one of the important things to do is sort of understand how it's positioned within the uh, human body. So what the software allows me to do is one part at a time, <coughs> show the students piece by piece the, um, the brain. So if I turn the brain around, get it turning around there. This is the posterior or back side of the brain. And this pink region here is the cerebellum and helps control all of our movements. When we built this building and built this particular facility with anatomy in mind, we have went to the 3D technology. Now our students today expect this kind of technology. They've grown up on high definition televisions, Game Boys <laughs> and everything else. So in many ways they're less impressed with this than we are. <laughs> But it is an outstanding facility. We're partnering with uh, anatomy and cell biology in the Schulich School, and together we're looking at ways and means of delivering anatomy on our campus. Connecting with a provincial and federal representatives is important because we have a chance to show them some of the innovative teaching practices that we use to promote both the intellectual development of our students and to prepare them for future careers. And that's, those are the two key goals of undergraduate education. So where is teaching going? Uh, you know, it, it, it's interesting, so I'm going to talk about something else. I'm going to talk about where learning is going. Because um, a friend of mine always used to say, uh, if nobody's learning, then you're not really teaching. And we often forget that. Because I can stand here all day and spout out stuff, but if you're not getting it, then we're not doing much. So part of what we have to do is make sure that students are getting it more, that they're actually understanding. And that means me checking in more. It means me doing more kinds of things so that you can learn in a variety of ways. Not just from me spouting off stuff, but maybe I need to give you online experiences. Maybe we need to be able to uh, do things in a much more uh, digital format. But it's all about the fact that we have to find better ways of learning. Any time that um, you feel that the professor is speaking directly to you, um, no matter the size of the class, and that you get what the professor is trying to convey, is a moment of excellence.